One idea that, that keeps popping up with angles is that vertical angles are congruent. So vertical angles are congruent. And what this means is that vertical angles, which we'll define in one moment, uh, have the same angle measure. So when you see that word congruent, what they're referring to is two or more angles, right? So they're looking at a pair or or more than a pair of angles of angles. So two more two or more of angles I wrote. Oops. Two or more angles with equal angle measure. So I mean we don't use the word equivalent because the angles will be in different spots, but even though they're in different locations, they will have the same degree measure. So let's look at this diagram we'll we'll find some vertical angles even before we look at the question itself. So angle 1 and angle 2 are vertical angles. And and what I usually look at and what I see is that okay, if I have a line going like this and another line crossing here, the angles that are across from each other at the intersection are going to be equal. And those are called vertical angles. So 1 and 2 are equal just like this blue angle would equal this one, right? Those are vertical angles as well. So I always picture the, the intersection of the lines as the shape of the letter X, and then uh, angles that are just across from each other are called vertical angles, and they're equal. And we can keep looking at this diagram. Angle 5 is, is the congruent to angle 4, right? They're both vertical angles. Angle 3 would be congruent to whatever angle is over here. So we have 5 and 4 are vertical angles, and 1 and 2 are, are vertical angles. So they ask in the diagram below which angle is congruent to angle, and they, they're writing it like this. That means angle 5. Well, we just said that, right? The other green angle, 4, is congruent to 5 because they're vertical angles. So I would say 4. 4 is congruent to 5. Here, uh, a similar situation line J and K intersect at this point over here, which pair of angles are congruent? Now not to say that that S and U could be congru could not be congruent or or any pair here. They they could all be equal, right? We're not really even sure what these angle measures are or even if the diagram is accurate. But we know for sure that S and T are vertical angles and must equal each other. And we know for sure that R and U are vertical angles and must equal each other. So angle R is congruent to angle U. And I'll use the equal sign for now. And we know that angle S is congruent to angle T. All right, they're equal but in different locations. So S and R, well S and R are not congruent, so this one's out. R and T, well R and T, they might be congruent, but we don't, we don't know, they're not vertical angles. T and S, okay, U and R, C is correct. And if you look at the last question here, the last choice here, U and T, they might be congruent, but we're not absolutely sure, right, because they're not vertical angles, so the answer here must be C. Okay, in the, in the figure below, R and S, so angles R and S, are formed by two intersecting lines. If angle R measures 55 degrees, what is the measure of angle S? Well, if if R angle R is congruent to angle S because they're vertical angles, right? The two angles opposite each other um, on opposite sides of an intersection point of two lines. Well, well then, yeah, it's got to also be equal to 55, right? Because R and S are, are congruent. Okay, next one. In the diagram below, which pair of angles has the same measure? So here we have two lines crossing at a single point. So what are we going to get? We're getting vertical angles. And two and four and two are vertical angles. And one and three are vertical angles. So what do they say? One and two. Well, one and two might have the same measure. We're not sure. One and four, same. We're not absolutely sure. Two and three they're not vertical, but 2 and 4, they have to have the same angle measure because they're vertical angles. Okay, in the diagram below line M, here's line M, 
intersects line N. Which pair of angles must be congruent? So if you look, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And this one's, I think, a little bit more interesting than the other problems. Now, 2 and 3 have to add to 180, and they, and they might be congruent, but we're not sure. right? We don't know if they are. Um, 1 and 5, it looks like they add up to 90 degrees, and they might be equivalent, but we're not absolutely sure. Now, 4, 4 and 2 look like vertical angles, right? But um, there's, there's more than two lines meeting at this one point. So it's not so easy to see the, the vertical angles. But here we do have vertical angles, right? N is coming down here, and M is coming down here. So we can focus on those two lines for a moment. And we have angles 1 and 3. And those are the vertical angles. So in this case, choice A is the correct response. Okay, so I guess we should be clear about how we define what a, a vertical angle is. And to help, I'm going to grab my line tool here. So let's say we have these two lines, right? And we call them A and B. Well, that's great. And <laughs> they meet at one point. So that's perfect for ver vertex, vertical angles, excuse me. So here, angle 1 and 2 are called vertical angles. They're across from each other. And they're across specifically when we have two lines meeting. And then angles 3 and 4 are also vertical angles. But it, just, it gets a little tricky when you introduce other lines into your, into your image. Let's say we add in a third line. Right? So jumping like that. Okay. Now this is harder to see, right? Once you, once you put a third line into the equation, um, you can still find your vertical angles. You just got to be clear about where they are. So let's let's compare C and B for a moment. So when C and B cross, right? If we highlight it like that, it's a little bit easier to see. We still get two sets of vertical angles, except where are they? Well, one's right here with this one, right? Those two are angles are vertical angles, and then, oops, different color. Then we also have this angle and this angle. So you can still find the vertical angles. It's just really difficult because this, the, the well, it's pretty difficult because this other line A is cutting through. It's just hard to see where they are. So when you're looking for vertical angles, try to keep track of which two lines are intersecting and crossing at a point. That'll tell you where the vertical angles are. Okay, so in this problem, lines L and M intersect. What is the measure of N in the diagram below? Well, I would say 43 degrees. Why? Because they're vertical angles. And here they say, explain how you determined your answer. You should mention that there are two intersecting lines, right? Two lines meaning at a point. And um, they form two sets of V angles, all right, but vertical angles, right? So here's one in green, and here's the other in blue. And you can even elaborate on that, but basically the idea is that you should recognize that in this picture, uh, what, what's happening is we have two lines crossing, so they will form vertical angles, which are always congruent. On the diagram below, line AB and line CD intersect at point P. Name the angle that is always congruent to angle A, P, C. So in the other videos, I used the equal sign for congruence. Not the other videos, in the earlier problems, excuse me. But here, um, let's use the, the, the correct symbol, which is an equal sign with this squiggle on top. Again, because, yes, the angle measure of A, P, C will, will have this exact same value as another angle, but they're not exactly equal because they're in different locations. So A, A, P, C, A, P, C is right here. Well, we have two lines crossing at a point, so we have another, another, another situation with vertical angles. So D, P, B will form this blue angle, and they're vertical angles. So I would say angle D, P, B. And when you explain, you could talk about how 
you have two lines crossing at a point and that forms two sets of vertical angles one here and then you can also mention um, A P D this green angle is congruent with C P D this green angle right here okay lines S and T intersect as shown below which angles are vertical well angle one is congruent to angle three because they're they're vertical angle two is con congruent to angle four because those that's another set of vertical angles so we had to look for that combination in our, in our list and we have it right here three and one or one and three right those are identical um, just written in different orders okay line J and K intersect below as shown below which two pairs are congruent same theme um, R is congruent to U the vertical angles and S is congruent to T. R is congruent to U. Here's that. R is congruent to U and T and S. So C is my answer for this one. And that's it. So in other, angle, in other, in other videos, we'll talk about why vertical angles, why it makes sense that vertical angles are always congruent. But, the, you know, these are just some sample problems for us. So make sure you look out for that video. Thank you. Bye.